Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw multiple time series to the same plot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object, you can see that a new window opens, which is showing the structure of our data. And as you can see, our data frame consists of four columns, whereby the first column is containing different years, and the columns two to four are containing three different time series objects. So if we want to draw these data with a basic installation of the R programming language, we can apply the plot function, as you can see in lines 8 to 14 of the code. So within the plot function, I'm specifying our year column, and I'm also specifying the first time series of our data, which is called TS1. And then I'm also specifying different options within the plot function, such as the type argument to be equal to a line, the color, the y limb, the x lab, and the y -lib. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the bottom right of RStudio, a new plot is created, which is showing one time series object. And to this plot, we can now add our other time series objects by using the lines function, as you can see in lines 15 and 19 of the code. So if you want to initialize a new plot, you have to use the plot function. And if you want to add another plot on top of the already existing plot, you have to use the lines function. So if we run lines 15 to 18 of the code, you can see that a second time series is added to our plot. And if we run lines 19 to 22 of the code, our third time series is added to the plot as well. So at this point, you can see that we are not really able to identify which of the lines is corresponding to which time series. And for that reason, I'm also adding a legend to our plot by applying the legend function, as you can see in lines 23 to 26 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our plot, a new legend is added, which is identifying the different time series objects in our plot. So in this first example, I have explained how to draw a time series plot with multiple time series objects using the basic features of the R programming language. However, it is also possible to create a ggplot2 plot that is showing multiple time series. And this is what I want to show you in the second example. So in order to draw a ggplot2 time series plot, we first need to reshape our data using the reshape2 package. And in order to use the functions of the reshape2 package, we first need to install and load the reshape2 package, as you can see in lines 28 and 29 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 29. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the melt function to convert our data frame from wide to long format. So if you run line 31 of the code, you can see that another data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data long. And if you click on this data object, you can see that our data frame was converted from wide to long format. In the next step, we have to install and load the ggplot2 package. As you can see in lines 33 and 34 of the code, I have installed this package as well, so I'm just going to load it with line 34. And after running this line of code, we can use the ggplot and the geonline functions to draw our data in long format in a plot showing different time series data. So if you run lines 36 to 40 of the code, you will see that another plot is created and this plot is showing our three time series and a legend on the right side of the plot. So in this video, I have explained how to draw multiple time series in the same graphic using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.